Welcome back to our world. Today we're going to take you into a different aspect of shelter life and we're going to look at a couple of orphan baby wildlife, different members of the wildlife family that we've got in. So come on in. That's Tabby. I think you've guys have seen her on one of their other videos, but she is currently taking care of a couple of baby mice that somebody brought into us. And today we're just going to talk to you guys about some basic do's and don'ts when it comes to baby wildlife because we see it all the time you know somebody finds something outside and they try to take care of it and then realize what a huge job it can be and then they bring them to us and a lot of times people can be trying to help and actually kind of doing the opposite effect with that so what tabby is doing is we just got these mice in this morning i think and she's just trying to give them a little bit of a special formula that we make up here for them it's very important that any time that you find any kind of baby wildlife, don't feed it, don't give it any kind of water. A lot of times with the babies, if you give them water, they can actually end up drowning or it can go into their lungs and causing a lot of damaging effects. So it's really important not to give them anything. The best thing that you can really do for them, if you think that mom is gone, first, kind of leave them alone for a little bit because most of the time, we might think mom's gone because she's not there the second we see them. Mom's usually kind of watching from the background, seeing what's going on. Um, you'll see this a lot with baby bunnies and baby birds. Uh, baby bunnies, when we actually have one right above Tabby, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but a lot of times with the baby bunnies, mom will make a nest for them. She actually only comes twice a day, once very, very early in the morning and then once around dusk. She's only by the nest for a few minutes at a time because she doesn't want any predators to know where the babies are. So you'll actually never see mom around. She'll come by, she'll feed them, and then she'll go off and do the rest of her thing for the rest of the day. So it's really important that even if you see a baby nest of bunnies and there's no mom, that's really not uncommon. Leave them alone. You can put um, a couple of strings over the babies, and when you go back, you'll see that the strings have been moved and mom has been there. And it kind of goes the same with the baby mice. You might find a nest of them. If you're moving stuff around, try to leave them alone if you can. Try not to move them around too much. Mom should come back and move them off if she feels that they've been disturbed. If maybe an hour or so goes by and they're still there, then it's a time to think, okay, maybe I should bring them in to somebody who can take care of them. You can see they're rather stubborn <laughs> trying to feed them. And definitely the best thing you can do, because we did touch on not giving them any food or water, would be to keep them in a very quiet, uh, warm place. Uh, maybe put them in a shoebox with a couple of holes in the top so that they can breathe. Some shredded paper towels. Um, just something where they can kind of nuzzle up and keep warm until you can bring them into a facility that can take them in. <laughs> Obviously, we only cover for brick and metal looking townships, but if you call your local police department, they can tell you who does animal control for your area, and they can give you a little bit of a helping hand on where would be the best place to take whatever kind of wildlife you would be finding. The other babies that we have in this room right now are in a little box over there. There are some baby sparrows, <laughs> and they're very noisy. <laughs> and these guys came in. Um, they're actually right before the age that we that we like to call fledglings, where in a couple of days they'll actually start jumping out of their makeshift nest and start walking around. And a lot of people get super concerned when they see that because they see this baby bird on the ground and they see it missing feathers and it's not able to fly and they think there's something wrong. That's Mother Nature's way of helping them grow up though. They'll come out of the nest and they actually learn to fly from the ground up. So they'll go from perch to perch on small bushes or trees while mom and dad are still feeding them and they'll learn how to fly that way. When they're that age, it's super important that you guys leave them alone if you can because when you bring them into a rehab or at that age, they have a really hard time with doing with doing well because they're so used to living outside. You know, we would prefer that you guys just leave them alone. Mother Nature knows best with all of this kind of stuff, and there's no better caretaker for the babies than mom. And you can see Tabby's giving them a little bit of food. Again, definitely do not ever give them water. Don't, you know, it's better off if you don't give them any kind of food or anything like that. What they eat isn't what your parakeets and cockatiels at home are going to eat. So they definitely need a special formula, which we can make up for them here. But it's always better if mom takes care of them out in the wild. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up. 
If you ever have any questions concerning any wildlife that might be around your house or in your neighborhood, always feel free to call us. Our number's on our website. And we'll give you as much information as we possibly can. And we'll be back with videos for some tips on handling living next door to adult wildlife and ways to go about that. We'll see you soon. Bye.